Aquila Lane, and we are here at the fabulous B.B. King's right here in Times Square, New York City. New York City. Yes, and I'm here with the band leader, Mr. Tony Garofolo. It's all about Strawberry Fields. It's all about a Beatles tribute band. All you need is love. All you need is love, darling. All you need is love. So tell me. Tell me the history behind the music. What was the story? Yeah, well, first of all, uh, the Beatles, in my opinion, and in the band's opinion, is the greatest music ever written. And to be able to perform the Beatles music and do a show with a look-alike, sound-alike uh, you know, routine is just an amazing thing. And I've been doing it over 30 years. Wow. Uh, I started uh, Strawberry Fields in 1991. And uh, I wanted a you know, group of players. We're all alumnus from Beatlemania, the touring company in the original show on Broadway. And uh, we wanted a show that we could uh, we could show the same four type of guys, you know, the four you know, core members of the band, and uh, get together and do a Beatles show in full costume and give people a chance to see what it's like to see the Beatles and never got to see the Beatles. Either they were too young or couldn't afford tickets, or uh, it was too late to see them. So, so you're here to bring that memorabilia back, that nostalgia Absolutely. back. The Beatles is the music is iconic, uh, as well as the four individual Beatles themselves. Uh, and we've been doing it here at BB King's. This show, 17 years already. 17 years. Yep. Now yep. understand that. Uh, the, some of the band members are from the original Beatlemania on Broadway. That's Am correct. I correct? That's about correct. That? Our uh, Paul McCartney, his name is Billy Ray. Uh, he was in the original show uh, that ran at the Winter Garden Theater and the Ron Fontaine and the Palace Theater, and uh, he's he's still with us, still doing the show. And uh, our drummer uh, Michael Belushi is from the Turing Company. I'm from the Turing Company. Uh, our guitarist George Harrison, uh, John Corber. Uh, he's been on tour with Hall & Oates, John Wade, Phoebe Snow, Roseanne Cash. He's from uh, the Broadway show Rain and Let It Be and the touring company Beatlemania. So we have a long, long history of Beatles. Now, another question I want to ask you, were you ever able to meet Paul McCartney? Was that? Uh, we actually, I actually met Paul McCartney uh, two years ago. I went to uh, his show in Brooklyn at the Barclay and I was on his list for the, uh, the VIP party after the concert and went backstage and essentially hung out with him for about half an hour. Oh my God, that must have been it the thrill fantastic. of your life. It was a thrill, and, and we uh, played at Shea Stadium as the Beatles in uh, 2005 to commemorate the 40th anniversary of the Beatles at Shea, and Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr actually did the announcing you know, on the Diamond Vision screen. So they announced us before we came on. So it was a thrill. It Fabulous. really was. And uh, Paul McCartney knows all about Strawberry Fields. I mean, he, is a, he has a house on Long Island, so... Uh, yes, he lives in the Hamptons, where I Hamptons. frequent... Uh, it's coming up now. I'll be in the Hamptons every weekend. Maybe I'll run into Mr. I McCartney. Think, you know, he's, in, he's in Amagansett once in a while, having ice cream. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, but this is, uh, this is a great thrill for us. And like I said, it's the longest-running Beatles show on Broadway here. Unbelievable. Now let me ask you, you must have a favorite tune. Uh, you know, I love the early mop top music. Me too, I love, I love uh, it too. You know, the Bubblegum Ed Sullivan show, I love all that stuff, and I love the first four or five albums, but I love Sgt. Pepper. I mean, there's, uh, you know, there's no limit to my taste as far as what I like uh, in the Beatles. It really, because the music, you know, it sort of evolved and uh, it changed. They used orchestration later on. And uh, to me, each song is totally different. And for an artist to write a song, each song totally different, and for it to become a hit, is, it, it just amazes me. It's just as popular now as it was back in the 60s. Now, there's going to be costume changes today yes. as well. How yep. many costume changes uh, will we see? Today we're going to do three. We're going to do the Mop Top, Early Beatles, then we uh, change into Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, and then uh, we do Abbey Road. So oh, okay. we're in for a treat. I can't wait. So I'm all excited. Of talking like this, like I'm from Brooklyn, <laughs> later on I'm going to be talking like I'm from England. So we're going to we're going to switch from London, London darling, London. London. And uh, also, you have a very famous car, which I was very happy to interview your yes. fiance, and she talked about your car at length, uh, yes. the exact the Chitty, replica Chitty, of Chitty Chitty, Chitty Bang Bang Chitty, car. Chitty Bang Bang. Uh, now, when am I going to see that car again? You'll get to see it. We're going to be at Sunrise Walks in uh, Wine Dance, Long Island. We're doing a uh, walk for cancer, 
and uh, we're expecting a very, very large crowd, a couple thousand people. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang will be live. Uh, we'll be on display. We're going to drive it around. And uh, it's, it's a great movie car. For you, those of you who love the movie, who've seen the movie, uh, you'll definitely watch it after you see the car. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to hear the music today. It's I want you to pleasure. tell my audience where we could go to find out more information about Strawberry Field. You can go to www.strawberryfieldsthetribute.com and you'll see the whole story. Fabulous. Give me a kiss, darling. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Nice meeting you. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more celebrity interviews coming up. Keep watching. Peace Pink champagne kisses.
been a Cry Baby Productions, darlings.